Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install RLCraft mod pack on your server. First of all, you'll need the Twitch Launcher app. I'll link this page where you can download it from. Download the one that is right for your operating system and install it. You will also need a Twitch account. Create one and then open the Twitch app. You'll be asked to log in. Once you've logged in, head over to the Mods tab and then click Minecraft. Under here, you'll be able to find any mod pack you like. Click the Browse Mod Packs tab, then search for RLCraft. As you can see, I've already got the mod pack installed on my PC. However, what I need is the server pack to actually get it running on my server. So open RLCraft and go to versions. You can see all the versions here. Download the server pack for whatever version you have installed on your PC. I currently have the latest version, so I'm going to download that one. You can check what mod pack version you have under the My Mod Packs tab right here. Now all you have to do is upload it to your server and you're ready to go. To install the mod pack on your server, head over to the Server Pro panel, go to the Reinstall tab and here you'll need to select Forge for Minecraft 1.12.2. To find out what version of Forge the mod pack is running on, go back to the Twitch app and open your mod pack overview. And here you'll see exactly what version you'll need. As you can see, currently it says Forge version 14.23.5.2838. Once you know the version, you can install the same version on your server. If you're reinstalling your server, please remove all your files to avoid conflicts. This is very important. Of course, back up your important files like worlds and download them to your computer. Now, once your server is fully started, Stop it and upload the server pack you downloaded earlier into your files home directory. Once that is fully complete, unpack it by selecting it and then clicking on the unpack archive button. This will unzip all the files inside the archive. Now what you have to do is move the files from the folder into your home directory. As you can see, if I try and do it now, it says that I have existing files there and they cannot be overwritten. So what you need to do is delete the files and folders in your home directory which have the same name as the ones you're trying to move. In this case, you need to delete the config and the mods folder. Now that's done, go back and try to move those files again. And this time you won't have any problems. Another important step is to change the server.properties files as stated here. Make sure to do this step manually to avoid errors. Once you're finished, save the file and the last thing you might want to do is completely renew your world. Your old world may work, however sometimes there may be crashes and corruptions. So it's recommended that you start with a fresh world. I'm going to delete my current world and let the server generate a new one. Once that's done, start the server and you're pretty much ready to go. Your server may take some time to start, so please let it load everything that's needed. A thing to know is that you might want to allocate more RAM to your client by going over to your Twitch app, going into mod pack and then selecting profile setting options. Then uncheck the box where it says use system memory settings and then give it around four to four and a half gigabytes of memory at minimum. We also do not recommend installing this pack on a server that has less than four gigabytes of memory. Now, as you can see, the server is running fine and I can log in without any issues. If you can't log in, please give the server time to fully boot. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other tutorial suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.